and welcome back to my channel and today I have found a positive news article for you it's about a TV reality star here in the UK from a reality TV program called Gogglebox and I'm going to read the headline for you so you know what I'm talking about Gogglebox Tom Malone reveals autism diagnosis at the age of 28 the article comes from the OK magazine which is like a newspaper tabloid magazine and I've also found the Huffington Post article which says exactly the same thing so i'll link both of these down below in the video description so as an autistic woman i felt it was important to bring you this autism news and read the article and then give my autistic perspective towards the end so let's get into it tom malone says i've always felt a bit different finally i have an explanation Tom Malone has been praised by fans after he revealed he'd been diagnosed with autism. The professional dancer left Gogglebox last February, saying that he's always felt a bit different, a bit socially awkward, and I don't process it, things in the same way as everybody else. I finally have an explanation as I've finally been diagnosed as autistic. Tom added something that both makes sense to me, whilst at the same time it is something completely new to learn and understand about the way I am, it's the way that I am. Now begins the journey. This one goes out to all the kids that have ever felt misunderstood and being a little different. So that is his statement that he put on Instagram and also on this article to talk about autism. So as an autistic female, I felt it was important to raise this profile and to talk about the story. So what do I feel as an autistic woman, why this is important and why we should raise the profile of autism within the public media? And as an autistic woman, I felt it was important that Tom really did do the public justice on autism. He really did tell his story and he helped to get the word of autism out there because again, it is still very much a taboo, misunderstood, uh, mis mis stereotyped label and a lot of people don't see autism as it is an invisible disability because on the outside we do look normal and we're able to get into society just as much as you neurotypical people are but again autism does have many traits and many different triad symptoms each person on the autistic spectrum is different not all of us will be the same tom will have many different symptoms to me i have many different symptoms to tom so tom was clearly able to mask his for quite some time he's able to do reality tv he's been able to do other social media work and not be noticed until very very recently when he came out publicly on his instagram and for the okay magazine and for the huffington post which is where i found the article linked as well. But I am very happy to hear that Tom is discussing autism in the public media. I feel it's a positive step forward for all people on the spectrum. I feel this is a step forward to get autism accepted and more widely understood in the public media because someone like him who's able to be so successful and work and function and tell people it's okay to be different that's what we need to be hearing that's what needs to be said out in the public media it is okay to be different it is okay to be on the autistic spectrum it is okay to be wired differently because that is the way that our brains work that is the way that we are made and created to be and autism should be widely accepted it shouldn't be something that people are ashamed of or make fun of or I know that Tom has had some several comments where they've told him, just get over it, stop bringing it up, stop talking about it. No, because the more we get it out there, the more we talk about it, the more we raise the profile of autism, the more better the profile and the more easier understanding and the more easier communication for it. Tom, for me, for many other thousands of thousands of people who have autism in the UK will make their lives easier, will make their existence in public media easier because we won't have to be afraid we won't have to hide our autism we won't have to mimic and act and put our, our defense systems because a lot of people tease us or bully us about our autism so i feel tom has really done it justice when it comes to speaking about his autism in such a public way knowing that he could potentially get a backlash but again he has made it a little bit more easier for me to speak out on it also um, I'm happy that the media has reported this as a positive story. I'm happy that they've seen it as something to celebrate. Oh, sorry, it's your eye. And something to be proud of. And they're advertising it as something to celebrate and congratulate. And Tom, that's the way it should be. We should be proud to talk about autism. We shouldn't be ashamed of it. And the more the public media follows this example, like the Huffington Post, the OK Magazine, 
and several other news outlets that Tom has spoken to about his autism. I'm really congratulating him on spreading the word and sharing his story and experiences because, again, that will encourage many others to come out in public media and spread the word of autism and to educate people because that's what I do. And I hope Tom, by sharing his National Autistic Society story and sharing his experiences on Instagram, on the social media internet, that he'll get the support that he wishes and that he deserves to get. I am very proud to be a fellow autistic person to support him and bring his story to the forefront because, again, there's not much really talk about males coming out on the spectrum recently. There seems to be more females. But I'm really pleased that Tom has took the time and the energy and the patience to talk about this and to explain why he's been absent from media for a little while. I think he's absolutely brave and it's an inspirational thing to do. But also I do have problems because, again... I don't want to sound too negative because I really want to praise Tom for this and I have and I'll continue to praise him for it. He has really opened up the eyes of many people by bringing autism back out into the public media but also there is many people who seem to be jumping on the bandwagon to say, oh, you know, this is why I'm having problems and why I've behaved inappropriately and, you know, this is why I've been rude to people because, oh, I'm autistic, oh, I'm on the spectrum, oh, I... I did this inappropriate thing because, oh, my autism made me do it. No, you did those behaviours because you chose to do them. You chose to say the wrong thing. You chose to act the wrong way and stop using autism as a way to get away with shit because you can't get away with shit. Stop using autism as a way to go, oh, I'm sorry, I did the wrong thing. No, no one gets a pass no matter what if you're on the spectrum or if you're not on the spectrum. Bad behaviour does not get you a pass. It just doesn't. And it makes autism then invalid for the rest of us who do struggle with autism, especially with me, with my eye contact, my constant social anxiety. It makes it hard for people like me to be validated and believed because there's people who do go around on the internet who are like, oh, well, I did this. It's because I'm autistic. Oh, I did this because I think I'm on the spectrum. And... No, it's just, it invalidates the whole autism perspective. It invalidates people like myself who are genuinely diagnosed, who have had a diagnosis for over nine years at this point. And it's just, no, I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy or the fact that someone that I am trying to kind of get my point across. But yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about what Gogglebox is as well. So Gogglebox is a TV program. It first came on air on the 7th of March 2013 in the UK. It is a series that documents families and groups of friends across the United Kingdom who have filmed for their observations and reactions to previous week's TV, TV episodes from their own homes. Each episode is 60 minutes long. The show has won numerous awards. In 2014 and 2022, it won a BAFTA in reality and constructed factual category. And in 2021, it won a national TV award. So again, it is a very successful TV program. Tom and his family, I still believe, are very active in that program. I know Tom isn't because he left, but I believe his family is still one of the most successful families in Gogglebox. And so, yeah, I will link the goggle box information down below as well but i just want to give my autistic perspective on this and let me know what you feel down in the comments down below please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next time bye guys